Good morning, folks. We're starting in 131 angstroms of light, where X-ray solar flares appear as bright flashes, and there are none to be seen. We've barely been able to get up out of B-flare range for 72 hours. The large solar tornado on the north does remain. It continues twisting in, with a lone eruption we can see taking place just to the left of it, just this morning, giving a nice little jolt to the corona, but still being a very minor event in itself. Looking at the last few days of sunspots, a disappointing active region turned away from Earth while new sunspots were born, bipolar, and facing Earth. They continue to grow in the traditional spreading pattern. Some minor mixing potential today as only the 6 o'clock position can go delta without major morphing. The coronal holes are Earth facing north and south. This is day two of exposure to powerful fields from the south, and tonight will hit the strongest portion of the north. Top earthquakes of the day were on the Pacific rise earthquake in the Greenland Sea which is an unusual location and well north. Largest quake of the day doesn't seem to be on any of the official maps, a near six pointer east of Australia. Got NASA's 2015 eclipses page linked for you guys below this video. First up this year is a total solar eclipse on March 20th. Europe with by far the best visibility for this event, hands down. Just two weeks later, a lunar eclipse will be visible for just about everyone except the European longitudes. We'll then have two more eclipses in September. Another link below is to a recent poll of Americans on GMOs, also including data about organics perception, labeling, safety. It's very much worth a read if you're into the topic, and if so, take a look at tens of thousands protesting GMOs in Berlin. A spectacular display and the Tyrannosaurus Monsanto was an especially nice touch. RSOE with 50,000 gallons of oil spilled into the Yellowstone River. Try not to laugh as you read the official safety disclaimer. And those systems we looked at yesterday dropped a tornado in Washington. It's a pretty good segue into weather where the top storms on Earth are in the South Indian Ocean. Damage has been done down there. Across the world, we see a moisture flow into that same area of the northwest states, coming out of the Pacific, funneling into our primary low pressure node there. The eastern convergence from it brings warm air up, so a bit of rain will precede the snow, which also remains present across the north. In Europe, we see multiple convergences across the body of land and the low in the southwest. That's where tonight's warnings are, but remember, the big boy is still sitting offshore, far more intense than what you'll see tonight. Down under, note the low in the north, the convergence to the east of that which hooks back up towards the north, and in New Zealand, note multiple lows near the South Island. No surprise to see tonight's thunderstorm warnings in those exact locations. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. 6.05 in the east, 3.05 a.m. in California. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.